I don't know how to start this video. There's like 17 different ways I can take it and all I can think of is I just gotta start because <laughs> this is like my 18th take. Part of the reason that I made this is because I think software companies and people who are creating services, they want to show how they fuel people and how things are better with them. And so I was like, oh, kind of like a battery going up or a tachometer going, Vroom, we're moving now. Uh, so I built this. And uh, in fact, it did actually recharge my uh, creative batteries with Camtasia. So I'm going to show you a couple of quick tricks uh, for breaking down this uh, project as well as uh, Alpha Invert. I'm going to show you about how to rotate things in a custom way that maybe you hadn't seen before. It's, uh, it's a cool trick. So here we go. Uh, first thing, uh, I call this a tachometer, just like in a speedometer, you know, RPMs, right? Uh, uh, let's uh, break it into its uh, elements. Uh, it's got the tachometer and it's got some text. The text here, recharging creativity in Camtasia. Not too terribly difficult. So for the focus of this uh, project, I'm actually going to turn it off. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, next, uh, when we go into the tachometer, uh, I've got this count up uh, to 100. Uh, again, not too terribly difficult. You can actually get an asset from the asset library uh, that does this for you, which is kind of sweet. But again, not too terribly difficult turning that off as well. Uh, moving the tachometer. So the moving tachometer goes whoop like that. And so let's see what's inside of that. And uh, I've got uh, both the moving outer band, which is this. And I've got this needle here, which kind of moves around. So you'll see it sort of rotating across the outer band. And uh, there's an outer band, kind of an inner circle. And, and this needle is what I'm call calling it. And uh, I've got, if I turn this to none, uh, what you'll see is I've simply got a shape that covers up the bottom half. So no matter what all is is rotating around it, uh, this bottom half is concealed. Alpha reveals, alpha invert conceals. So alpha invert it is. We uh, we hide that part. So let's take a look at what we got underneath here. Um, I've got these uh, outer bands down here uh, that I've I've talked about before, and uh, this gets revealed um, because I'm taking this uh, this piece here. Let's go to none, and uh, I am rotating that. And while it's concealing everything, that's why um, it's a rotating shape in alpha invert. I hope the description helps. Uh, I uh, right click alpha invert and it allows me to then rotate those outer bands. Uh, and then we've got uh, these, uh, we've got a thick band and a skinny band. Uh, by the way, this is a, a luminosity on top of here. Feel free to play with that and isolate this stuff uh, because it does kind of bring out a, a highlight in the green here and a low light over there is it's uh, pretty cool what I wanted to show you for a second though is this needle I wanted to talk about this here this needle that kind of is moving around um, what this is is it's almost like a it's uh, like a propeller. It's going around the outside. It's just that we're hiding this middle part. So, but how did I get it to rotate uh, around an axis? Well, uh, let me scooch down the timeline just a little bit here. And uh, what I did is I copied this one piece. What I've got here is this, it's a full line, uh, but when you go inside here, I've got something that covers it up. And what that allows me to do is when I turn that on, uh, you can see that, uh, yes, I've got my needle, which is this green line here. Uh, 
and then I've got a shape which is this blue uh, object here and uh, because I group them together they will rotate together right and they'll rotate around the center axis uh, that's part of that group the uh, all I did is with this is the blue is going to conceal or alpha invert right uh, so it's going to conceal that part of uh, of it which gives me that needle perspective on this tachometer All right, just like with every other project, this is for you. Uh, you can take this asset and run with it and you can customize it, but I'm hoping that you can actually learn a little bit from it. So uh, let me give you a couple of challenges. First, uh, you can see in here that the, uh, the text is moving up. Uh, if you look at this Porsche dial, their tachometer actually has a logo in the middle. So what I'd like you to do is uh, go into this project and when this gets up to around 100, uh, fade out uh, the numbers and fade in your logo, whatever that logo might be. Next one, it's going to be an interesting and a little bit tricky one. First, uh, change the colors on it, but the but see if you can actually create a gradient. Now, this is going to require you to create uh, a gradient that goes from orange to red. I'll put a link in the video to the inimitable uh, Joe Dearman, who created a cool video about uh, transitioning and uh, beautiful gradations of colors. Um, but I'd like to see if instead of it just being a green, uh, a, a dark green to a bright green, see if you can go from orange to red, just like you would actually on a real tag. Uh, finally, uh, thank you for watching this video. If anybody has a spare Porsche GT3 laying around and needs somebody to take care of it, just let me know. Thanks for watching.